everyone uh, I'm here back with another video for you guys a very 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 good helpful little tip that might make the world easy for the next person um, and uh, I felt like sharing this because I have not seen anyone do it or any videos of it on YouTube or anything like that and I think it'll be useful for a lot of folks out there who uh, who are trying to save a dime and uh, also maybe, you know, on a crunch with time and can't really afford to send a piece to the fabricator to get something welded on. Um, recently, I just purchased this, uh, this K-Tuned intake temperature adapter, okay? It's made by K-Tuned, that is the part number right there. Try to get you folks a better there you go the reflection is not catching it but there you go that's the that's the part number and uh, what that is what 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 that is um, I'm just gonna explain it in a nutshell this right here is the air intake temperature all right this would normally go uh, to your intake piping that feeds the engine to read the temperature the air temperature of the motor right now now k -Tune will typically sell you uh, this adapter, right? That way you're able to weld it onto your, uh, your aluminum piping. But I found a greater place for this to go. Um, again, I just thought it was very simple, it's easy, it's quick. And uh, you know what, if you spent, I don't know how much this cost me, I forgot off the top of my head. But if you spent a couple dollars for this, guess what, and you're running this intake manifold, the ultra series, or very well be, it very well may be that you could be running any other manifold that this could work on. But uh, again, this is a simple little thing that I came across. This is the, the sensor adapter just to hold the sensor onto the motor. And let me show you guys what I discovered. Again, something so simple, but could very well benefit a lot of people. I already started putting this together. I put Teflon on it just to, uh, you know, to stop any leaks of air. I'm not gonna be utilizing this piece. This piece will, you know, it could be utilized if you're gonna weld it onto an aluminum piping, but I'm just gonna start the process here. So I'm running a ultra series manifold, right? And, uh, Again, this sensor has to be connected to the piping. This air temperature sensor has to be connected to the piping, right? So, on the Ultra Series manifolds, we have all these little damn adapters down here. And uh, I say, you know what? Let me take out one of these, uh, these little bolt things that closes it off just to avoid air from seeping in. And I discovered that this same exact fitting that k -Tune sends you, right? And be careful because there's a little piece in there. You don't want to lose that, you see it? This exact piece just mounts right up. Oh. I'm not a lefty, so this is a little bit challenging. There we go. All right. Look at that. So, I'm gonna tighten this down really quick and I'm gonna show you guys how nice and clean this is gonna look. And again, you don't have to make a hole in your piping now when you already have the, the access right here on your manifold if you're running an Ultra Series. You might be running a k -Tool manifold or a Gato Racing manifold. Whatever you're running, an excessive, just try it out. 
you know? Be right back. And you want to snug this nice. Not too tight either. But just enough where, you know, you, you, you know it's not going to come loose or, again, leak air. That way your uh, throttle's not idling too high. I have this nice little tool here. I think I got it from Vibrant. gonna show you guys exactly how this go with the sensor so this piece right here you're just gonna want to take it and slide the sensor through it pretty much like this and uh, on this back piece it has a rubber garment there I don't know if you guys can see it that uh, that will prevent any air again from leaking oh you know what I forgot to mention hold on hold on I'm skipping a whole thing for you guys um, on your sensor okay you might have to shave down these little edges that are on the air intake temperature okay I don't know if you guys can see that I just shaved them down very lightly just to get this to slide through slide through this end right here but check this out this is what I discovered and this is what I wanted to share with everyone um, I think it's clean simple and it's one less thing for me to do now when it comes to fabricating look at that people Voila. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share the page, um, and keep on continuing to spread positivity. Again, something so simple like this may change your day, and hopefully I help somebody out there. Um, please make sure to tag uh, K-Tune. Go support the company. Very helpful people. Good quality stuff they sell, and their customer service is top notch. Um, so make sure you go check them out. Once again, if you're looking for a part number, that's the part number right there. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on my Instagram or drop a comment on here. I'll try to reply as best as I can. Um, my Instagram is Bert underscore Aham, B E R T underscore A Y H A M. Thank you guys, and God bless. Peace.